All right, in this video, we're gonna do two different problems. We're gonna do a mole to mass problem and a mass to mole problem. So in, a, in the previous video, we did a mole to mole conversion, and that required us to use the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation. So you'll notice in this question, we are asked to convert from moles of O2. So it's asking how many moles, if we have 3.3 moles of O2, how many grams of hydrogen could we produce? So if we look at our cheat sheet here, that gives us a path. Um, in order to go from moles of one substance to mass of another substance, we have to first convert to moles um, of the substance that we want the mass of. So we're going to need to do a mole to mole conversion and then a mole to mass conversion. Okay, so we are going to start out with the number given to us, 3.3 moles of O2, and then we're going to have a conversion factor, uh, set up some dimensional analysis. So if we check here, again, to get from moles of one thing to moles of another, this is when we need to use the mole ratio from the chemical equation. So in any stoichiometry problem, we have to have a balanced chemical equation that tells us the relationship between different substances. So for this one, I can fill out my units first. I know moles of O2 is going to go in the bottom because I need that to cancel. And since we're going to grams of H2, I first need to convert to moles of H2. Okay, so this is our mole ratio. And to get the numbers that go in the mole ratio, we need to refer to the balanced chemical equation. So for H2, we find H2 in our balanced chemical equation, and we see that there are two moles of H2. And then we look to O2 over here, and we see that there's nothing. In other words, it's one mole of O2, so we put a one in the bottom of our mole ratio. Okay, so now what we've done is we've converted moles of O2 into moles of H2, but the question needs us to take this one step further, and we want to get to grams of H2. So we're going to need another conversion factor here, and according to our cheat sheet, when we convert from now we have moles of y. We need to go one more step to mass of y. This is where we just use the molar mass. We know that one mole of any substance is equal to its molar mass. So here's where we need to go to our periodic table. And again, I can go to my units first. I know that moles of H2 is gonna go in the bottom, and then I need grams of H2 because that's what I want for my answer. And if we are looking at the periodic table, remember that any molar mass that's on here is for one mole of that substance. And what we want the mass of is H2. So if we look here, we find hydrogen. It has a mass of 1.01. .01. But since there's two of them, we need to multiply that mass by two because the formula is H2. So we're gonna get 2.02 grams is the molar mass of H2. So we have 2.02 grams of H2 is equal to one mole of H2. Okay, so this is the molar mass from the periodic table. Maybe I'll label that for you. This is from the periodic table. All right, and this is from the balanced chemical equation. All right, so these numbers came from different places. Um, and now our moles of H2 cancel, and we are left with grams of H2, which is what we wanted in our answer. So our setup is now done, and we just need to type this into the calculator. So we're going to get 3.3, multiply numbers that are in the top, so times 2, times 2.02, .02, these ones in the bottom won't affect our answer, uh, so since they're just one, so we don't have to do that. We'll hit equals, and remember our sig fig rules tell us that we have to match our number of sig figs to the number that was given to us. So we can only have two sig figs in our answer, so our calculator says 13.332. We have to cut it off after two sig figs. It's followed by a three, which is less than five, so we'll keep this at 13 grams of H2. All right, and that is our answer for this 
mole to mass problem. All right, so now let's quickly do the reverse of this, which is a mass to mole problem. Okay, we'll go through it a little bit quicker since it's pretty much the same as what we just did, but going backwards. So this time we are given 36 grams of H2O and we wanna figure out how many moles of H2 that is equal to. So we're starting with mass, some mass of X, in this case H2O, and we wanna to convert to moles of a different thing. So that's gonna be moles of Y, in this case H2. So we first need to convert the mass of water into moles of water. Then we'll convert moles of water to moles of H2 using the mole ratio. All right, so we'll set up the problem, subdimensional analysis, 36 grams H2O. And we first need to use the molar mass to convert from moles or mass of water to moles of water. So I know that grams of H2O will go on the bottom because I need that to cancel. And moles of H2O will go in the top. All right, and the relationship here that we need to use is the molar mass. And we know that molar mass is always equal to one mole. So this is gonna be one, and now we just need to figure out the molar mass of water. Some of you probably have this memorized already, but just to refresh, formula is H2O. So we need two of these and one of these. So it's 1.01 .01 times two plus 16 for O for oxygen. Um, oops, what did it, 1.01 .01 times two plus 16 equals 18.02 grams. So that's the molar mass of water. So we get 18.02 grams from the periodic table. And after we have done that conversion, now we are at moles of H2O. All right, and now to convert, we need to get to moles of H2. So now we need to do moles of X to moles of Y. So we need another conversion factor. And I know that moles of H2O is gonna go on the bottom. And we want moles of H2 as our answer, so that will go on top. And remember, these numbers that go here come from the balanced chemical equation. So now we look at our balanced chemical equation. We find H2. There are two moles of H2. We look for H2O. There are two moles of H2O. So our mole ratio is two to two. Two moles of H2 for every two moles of H2O. And now our moles of H2O cancel. We are left with moles of H2, which is what we want. So now we just calculate this. Remember, numbers in the top, we multiply. Numbers in the bottom, we divide. So we're starting with 36 divided by 18.02, because it's in the bottom. Um, and then times two divided by two. They cancel, but we'll type it. Two divided by two equals this number. And we are only allowed to have two sig figs. So we look at 1.9, that would be two sig figs, but it's followed by a nine, which means we need to round up. So this actually turns into 2.0. 2.0 moles H2 and that is our final answer for this problem a mass to mole problem so remember just to review this number came from the periodic table it is the molar mass these numbers this is the mole ratio and they came from the balanced chemical equation All right so in the next video we'll do a mass to mass problem